something unusual is happening to the tail of comet ZTF. It's a disconnection event, something unusual happening. Comet ZTF C 2022E3, it's being disconnected. The break is uh, inset in the picture taken by Austrian astrophotographer Michael Jager, January 17. And uh, we can see that um, it's breaking apart there. It's a, disconnected, a disconnection event. A piece of Comet ZTF's tail has been pinched off and is being carried away by the solar wind. Blame space weather. CMEs hitting comets can cause magnetic reconnection in comet tails, sometimes ripping them off entirely. NASA Stereo A spacecraft watched this happen to Comet Enki back in April 2007. This month, multiple CMEs have swept past Comet ETF as a result of surging solar activity, and one of them is responsible for this dis disconnection event. And soon we'll get a better look. Comet ETF is approaching Earth for a close encounter February 1st. It'll be 0.28 AUs from us. Between now and then, this comet brightness will come, will cross the threshold of the naked eye visibility, possibly peaking at magnitude plus five. CME effects will be increasingly visible as the comet approaches, so we have to stay, stay tuned. Uh, the disconnection event. When a comet is interacting with solar wind, straight and narrow plasma tails will be often formed. The most remarkable phenomenon of plasma tails is a dis disconnection event in which a plasma tail is uprooted from the comet's head and moves away from the comet. In this paper, the, uh, this is a, I'm, I'm uh, reading from an abstract from major.com. Um, uh, the interaction process between the comet and solar wind is simulated by using a laser-driven plasma cloud to hit a cylinder obstacle. So they simulated it to see, find out what's going on. So the tail has been ripped off from the, it's basically being ripped off from the comet head. I'll leave a link below for you on space weather. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box 